This is at discover.familytreedna.com and it's a beta feature, which means they're kind of still working on it a little bit. Um, actually, let me start here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And so all you do is you put your haplogroup in here. So your haplogroup is like in a little badge on your dashboard in your homepage. Okay, so you can see it's usually named with some kind of letter number combination. So my dad's is M269, RM269 like that. Okay, so you just put your haplogroup into this little box and then you'll say, show my report. Now, the first time that you do it, they make you sign up, like you have to put in your name and your email and stuff, but then they'll, they'll show you this report. So essentially, what is this telling me? It's telling me interesting things about my haplogroup and your haplogroup is your deep ancestral group. And when I say deep, I mean deep. Look at these numbers. This is 14,000 years ago was this common ancestor right here. And he had a couple of children, or these are not real generations, but like longer generations, coming down here to my ancestor, who was 6,000 years ago, M269. And I descend from there. Okay, so it gives you these really rough estimates of time frames that haplogroups kind of fit together. So haplogroups kind of have their own family tree that you can kind of see where you fit in this broader family tree. You can see some of these locations where these um, where this haplogroup is from. And even down here, you can see that there are 8,258 people from Ireland in the family tree in a database that are in my haplogroup. And you can see the English and the Scottish. So you can get a feel for kind of what countries your haplogroup is from. Then across the top up here, you can see things like really cool things like these um, heat maps that tell you again, country frequency. So again, these are the places where the people who've taken the test live, all right, who have my haplogroup. And then notable connections of basically famous people. If you wanna see some famous people that share your same haplogroup, that's what you'll find here. These migration maps are really fun and they have a version of this already in the family tree DNA login page. So all of this is like, you don't have to log in, right? This is just available for the public, essentially. So if you have a haplogroup, you can just kind of mess around or you could put in a different one if you wanted to. So that's all the cool um, migration patterns. These ancient connections, again, these are from actual samples that were found buried. Like these are ancient DNA samples that you match with and connect with. So again, here's me and here's this ancient... DNA that was pulled from the bone of a burial, okay? And we share this common ancestor. It also gives you these suggested projects. Remember I was telling you how important it is to join projects? We were talking about surname projects, but it's also important to join your haplogroup projects. Haplogroup projects have all kinds of benefits to them as well. And it's just kind of on a broader scale, again, trying to tying in like all of these people from all these different surnames into this one big lineage. So there's fun projects. And then this of course is for the super sciency, um, some scientific details that just try to tell you again about timelines more or less about how long ago these haplogroups kind of arose and what they did. So this is all something that everybody can access um, if you have a haplogroup to put in. I just wanted to show you the difference so my dad has actually taken the big Y test. So that first haplogroup, that RM269, was what I call the out-of-the-box haplogroup. It's like what I got when I took the test. But it's super high level. As you saw, 6,000 years ago is when M269. I bet more than half of you on this call are M269. Hello, cousin, right? Yes, in a very loose sense, we are all cousins because we all go back to this one M269 guy. But the big Y gives me so so much more detail about my haplogroup. So I just put in, this is my haplogroup from the big Y. And if I put show my report, now you can see that my haplogroup, my guy, just 250 years ago. Guys, this is like in a genealogy time frame. I can find records 250 years ago, some, okay? So I just wanted to show you that to kind of demonstrate, even on a haplogroup level, the level of detail that you get from big Y is so much more than you would ever get from just a regular test at Family Tree DNA. So again, you can read all of these cool things and look at that. Do you know who this is? It's me. 
it's kind of fun to see yourself like that's me, right? Because my haplogroup is so specific to me and we just haven't had enough people in our lineage test that share this particular haplogroup. My dad's it, that's my dad. He's the one tester with this haplogroup. So it's kind of cool that they made a whole page just for him. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that because it's new and because it's free and because everybody can access it. And so you can go and mess around. If you want to put in a haplogroup, put in R-M269 and you can read all that stuff that I showed you initially um, just to play around with the tool if you don't have your own haplogroup. After watching that video, I hope you feel like you can do the DNA. And if you want more help, check out these videos. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And just keep in mind, you can do the DNA and we can help.